Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Come on, turn to your neighbor and tell them, welcome to the house of the Lord. You're in the right place. And Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you and we worship you, oh God. Thank you for your finished work of the cross, my God. Thank you that we, we enter your throne with confidence to worship you, oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy, God. We bless your name, Jesus. There's no one like you.
Jesus is working. Jesus is working. Hallelujah. Hey, are you excited? Come on. Jesus, I'm highly favored. 
Just go on and worship our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the amazing work of redemption. Oh, worship Him. Father, we worship you in this place, oh God. We exalt you, oh God. We acknowledge you, Jesus, as our King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, Father, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for you have shown us your loving kindness. You are great in love, oh God. You are bound in grace. You are rich in mercies, oh Father, we worship you oh God you have delivered us oh redeemer from curses into blessings oh God you have 
shown us the light, oh God, and delivered us from the kingdom of darkness. Oh God, we worship you, Father. Oh, we glorify you. Indeed, we can never know how much it took, Lord Jesus, for you to die on that cross. God, be exalted in this place, oh Jesus. Be magnified in this place, Jesus. Oh, we honor you, Jesus. Would you be enthroned, oh Lord Jesus? You are the builder of your church. This church is yours. Oh, Jesus. Come and have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. We thank you by the testimony that you are our redeemer. And by the power of your blood, we can overcome, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Come on, church, bless him for the work of the cross. At the cross, he took our place. He separated us from our sins just as he sees from from west. He threw our sins into the depths of the sea. Come on, claim that forgiveness. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you and clean you from all unrighteousness. We have all sinned and fallen short of his glory. Come on, this is the hour. Father, we worship you and we, we take Lord Jesus. We appropriate the cross. We ask you to forgive us. Have mercy on us, son of David. God, we have done things that are not pleasing to you. Would you forgive us, oh Lord Jesus? By your blood, deliver us from addictions. Deliver us from bad patterns, oh Jesus. We cry out to you, oh God, because you are the perfect love of God. You satisfied the wrath of God. You reconciled us back to God. Now we are friends of God. We can boldly come into the throne room of grace. Oh, church, come on. You can boldly come before your father. You call him father because of the work of reconciliation. And so reach out. Reach out to the blessings of the cross. You have an inheritance through that work of the cross. Call out and say, God, through the cross I claim my healing for this sickness. Because of the work of the cross, I claim victory over this long-standing battle in my life. Because of the work of the cross, I claim my child back. I claim my marriage back. I claim everything that has been taken because the cross is a place of hope. That which was long forgotten is coming back in Jesus' name. He's the God who raises a great army from, a, from dry bones. Don't lose hope, child of God. Do not lose hope. Call unto him. Call unto him with all your heart because he's here and you will find him. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you that everything that your children have lost hope on, God, you're bringing back hope, oh God. We worship you, God, that which they have trusted in you, oh God. God, you are answering. You do not only hear prayers, you answer prayers. You're a faithful father. You're a good father. You're a good shepherd. You're a good teacher. You're a good master. You are good and everything you do is good. Everywhere you are, you do good things. And so we worship you and we receive your goodness through the work of the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alas, and my Savior, please.
one more time. Alas, indeed, my Savior bleed. Alas, indeed, my Savior bleed. And my soul. Remember that day where you first saw the light? Can you remember that evening, that morning, that Sunday service where for the first time you saw the light and you felt the burden of your sin roll away? Can you remember? Do you want to thank God for that day that he took away your sin? Is there somebody who would like it to happen to them even before we continue with the service? You would like for your sins to be rolled away that you may experience the salvation of the Lord today. Lift up your hand. If you're there, you've never experienced that salvation. Lift up your hand. We're going to pray for you as you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. There is a hand. Up in the balcony? Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anybody else? You are saying, I want to have that experience. I want to sing that song from experience where I first saw the light at the cross. The blood is still available. Anybody else? For it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the Lord's valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, ever, ever lose its power. You don't know that power of the blood of Jesus. You'd like to say, pray with me also. I want to be saved. I want to give my life to Christ. Join our friend who raised their hand. Who else wants to just give your life? Thank you, thank you. I see that hand. I see that hand uh, also. Two hands that exit. Anyone else? You are saying, this is my moment. I want, yes, I see another hand right here near the camera. God bless you. Anybody else? You are saying, this is my time. who have lifted their hands, you want to receive Jesus Christ and any other person who wants to do so, pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize that I am a sinner, helpless without your grace and forgiveness. So I come, Lord Jesus, in remembrance of the work that you did on the cross for me. I ask of you today, Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from every form of unrighteousness. This day make me whole. Make me clean and blameless before the Father. Jesus, come and live in my heart. Be my Savior from this day. Be the Lord of my life. Hallelujah. I write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so all of us who are born again, 
we are welcome to partake of the table of the Lord this day. And as we approach the table, we have instructions that the Lord is reminding us of from 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. For I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself nor discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. But if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment, and the rest I will set in order when I come. The scripture invites us to examine ourselves as children of God. How is your life this day? Is there anything wanting? Is there anything that is not worthy of the name and, the, and his glory? Anything at all? that may not make God happy. The Bible says if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But when we come, he forgives us and cleanses us from every unrighteousness. Ask the Lord to test your heart, to search your heart, test your anxious thoughts by his Holy Spirit. And reveal anything that could not be glorifying his name. So Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, and sweet Holy Spirit, we present our hearts to you. We present our lives to you, O oh God. Search our hearts this hour. See if there is anything in us that is not worthy of you, Father. We ask for forgiveness where we have sinned, where we have failed you, where we have dishonored your name, we ask of you to forgive us, O King of all glory. Where we have failed to do that which we were supposed to do, or where we have done things that we were not supposed to do. Father, we ask of your forgiveness. We ask for a cleansing by the precious blood of Jesus. As we approach the table today, May we be found blameless. May we be found worthy, O King of kings and Lord of lords, that the healing that Jesus released on the cross may be our portion today, that the peace that he released would be ours today, wholeness would be ours today. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We surrender our lives to you. And we honor you this hour as we approach the table. Thank you for the emblems, the symbol of the bread and the symbol of the blood that we are partaking of today. Father, as we partake, may your goodness flow, may your mercy flow, may your healing flow, may your peace flow, may you undertake for each and every one of us according to our needs. May our faith be lifted higher and higher to another level of knowing you and of walking with you. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Congregation, you may have your seats. Uh, we're going to come to you and serve you the bread and the cup. And we ask that you keep uh, hold on so that we partake together. Again, like Reverend Judy has said, those who are born again are welcome to partake. If not yet, just let the emblems pass. And meanwhile, our worship team will continue to lead us in worship.
tells us that our Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and after he had given thanks he broke it he shared with his disciples and he said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me as we remember that Jesus body was beaten because of us for our healing let's together partake of the bread In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's partake the cup together. Just want to talk to the Lord and just tell him thank you for his sacrifice for our sins. We bless you, Jesus, and we thank you. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. 
the work on the cross has been done. It is done. It is finished. He did it again. We are victors. We are the children of God. We are the children of light. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the finished work that you manifested on the cross. Thank you for making us victors. Thank you for making us the head and not the bottom. Thank you, Jesus. We come before you, Father, knowing, dear Lord, that you are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the almighty God, the most powerful being, the little voice that speaks in our head. Who can fathom the might of your strength, my Father? Who can tell the greatness of your greatness, my Father? Thank you, Jesus, for the finished work of the cross, my God. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it again for all of us, my God. We come before you, dear Lord, as sinners, mighty God. We lay down our burdens at your feet, Jesus. You did it again, my God. We ask, Father, that you do it again, dear Lord. Forgive us of our sins, my Father. We come, dear Lord, asking, dear Lord, that you cleanse us, mighty God. Purify us, dear Lord, with your love. Anoint us, dear Lord, with your greatness and your wholeness, my Father. Come, dear Lord, and bring your might down here on earth, mighty God. For earth is your footstool, mighty Father. We cry unto you, mighty God. Come, dear Lord, and save us, dear Lord, from the ways of this world, mighty God. From the ways the devil has defined for us, mighty Father. We say no to the devil, mighty God. And we say yes to the power of God, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for embracing us in your kingdom. It is an honor to be in your presence, mighty God. We do not take it for granted, dear Father, that we are here alive and well, mighty God. We pray, dear Lord, for the people in hospitals, mighty God. For the children in the places, dear Father, they need you. In the streets, my God. In the orphanages, my God. These children call unto you, my Father. You are our provider, Jireh. Provide your way, dear Father. You make ways where there seem no way, mighty God. You are a God of impossibilities, my Father. We speak as living witnesses, mighty Father. We speak as living testimonies, mighty God. Your greatness, dear Lord, has kept us alive to this moment. We thrive because of your holiness, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing on the cross, mighty God. For every mission that is outside there, for the growth of your kingdom, mighty God. Extend your hand of greatness, dear Lord, to them, mighty God. May your might, dear Lord, be evidence even in our authorities, mighty God. We, say, we ask, dear Lord, that you send your power and your authority, dear Lord, in our places of worship, mighty God. For souls, dear Lord, are being lost to the old ways, mighty Father. Souls are being lost to the cultures of this world, mighty God. And dear Lord, we are here asking, dear Father, that you grant us, dear Lord, that power, that authority to stand in it to new territories, my God. And give us the capacity, dear Lord, to withstand that victory, dear Lord, that you reign on us, mighty Father. Dear Lord, we love you so much. Not very much we say this, my God, but we love you, Jesus. Love us back, mighty God. We ask, dear Lord, that you walk with us. Walk with us in our workplaces in our government places, mighty God. Bless our economic Kenya, mighty God. Bless us all, mighty Father. We pray for our old and our young and our children. Bring us up, dear Lord, in your ways. May your light be our path, mighty God. Direct our feet, my Jesus. We allow you, Holy Spirit, to come and walk in us. Fill us, dear Holy Spirit. Cover us, dear Lord, with your precious armor. Cover us, my Father. It is finished, mighty God. It is finished, church. Church, it is finished. He did it again. It is finished. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we praise you and we give you all the glory. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Come and collect the cups. Please pass them to your right. And our 
Servers will come for them. God bless you. Give them a good clap. Amen. Let's appreciate them. Amen. Just before they leave the stage, did you enjoy that worship and the dance? I was, we are telling people in the first service, you don't need to go to the gym in early morning on Sunday. We have a gym right here. For the entire month of April, we have our young people be leading us. So please, uh, you're going to be enjoying it. God bless you. Let's now appreciate them as they take their seats. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's, let's keep on appreciating them as they take their seats. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? We are also happy to be in the house of the Lord today and we will be your moderators for the service. My name is Philip Saidimo, not Saidimo. <laughs> And I am Wakili Doreen Mwangi. <laughs> wow. Really want to appreciate my co-moderator, the lawyer, Doreen. I don't know what am I. Uh, There's something is good. in the house of the Lord. <laughs> the Lord is good. Yes. Amen. Church, are you happy again to be here? Amen. We thank God for this month of April. Uh, the first Sunday of this month and this Sunday uh, or rather the whole of this month we'll have our young people leading us and, uh, and again this Sunday again we'll have even our youthful uh, pastor preaching to us so this, this month it's going to be amazing and please you don't need to miss we, we're going to have some dance, we're going to have I mean sing along all over this place and it's going to be lovely and we are going to have many, many more. So just make sure you come to church so that we cannot give you spoilers of, of what will happen during this youth month. But we are going to be blessed. Thank you. We want to acknowledge you who is here for the very first time. Um, you browse, you searched um, through Uncle Google. 
and you, you landed uh, that there is a church called Sitamgong and you found yourself here or probably you are brought here by a friend, a relative. We want to acknowledge you and appreciate you for coming your very first time to be here. By show of hand, you can also stand. Do you have any? Yes, let's stand, please. Let's stand, please. Ah, good. Thank you. Yes. Please keep standing. Wow, wow, wow. We have very many first-time visitors. Keep standing as the ushers and the welcome team come to you with a brochure. We are going to fill in all the information required, and you are welcome in the house of the Lord. What do we tell them, church? Church. For a church has come. Yes, your search for a church has come to a blessed end. God bless you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much, our visitors. You can have your seat. And if you are visiting, uh, please take our love and our regards back to your local church. After the service, please don't be in a hurry to meet, uh, to leave. We just want to have a few uh, of your minutes. And church, what is our vision? We are a community, community of, of believers. believers. Impacting, impacting the, the world, world with the gospel, the gospel of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ through the transforming power of the, of Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And our mission? To know God and to make him known to, to evangelism, evangelism and, and discipleship. Amen. Amen. Now we want to pray for the offerings and also pray for our children as they go to uh, the uh, classes. Uh, this um, uh, Sunday we'll release them because last Sunday they were able to be with us because of the cantanta. Uh, so our children will be having their classes or rather their lessons today. So all boys and girls, if you can stand, please, with your teachers, we want to pray for you and release you to go to your classes. All boys and girls, are you here? All right. Shall we? Gracious and Loving Father, we thank you uh, this day that, Lord, you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Father, thank you for giving us an opportunity to come to your house today. Father, we pray for our boys and girls as they go to have their lessons. We pray, God, that you may bless them and have your world grow in their hearts. We also pray for their teachers. We pray for your grace upon them as they teach these young ones. Father, we also want to pray for our giving. We pray, God, that our giving shall be a nice smelling fragrance before you, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, you be with us and bless us, because this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we can continue and give our offering as, we, as the media rolls down the announcements. Yeah, and there are various ways of giving. We have uh, via M-Pesa. Our payment number is 933-943. Uh, and, uh, and then on the account, you can indicate tithes, offering, or pledge. And also our ushering, uh, rather our ushers will be going around just to, in case you have hard cash to drop your hard cash on the basket offering. And also if you want to write a uh, check to Crisis Answer Ministry, you can do that and then also if you want to do pdq after the service the information uh, text uh, will be available for you media team thank you, thank you for joining us today at sitamgo where christ is the answer our theme for the year is taking new territories from romans 15 verse 20. it has always been my ambition to preach the gospel where christ was not known so that I would not be building on someone else's foundation. Do you belong to a safari group? These are small groups consisting of our members that meet weekly to study God's word at a venue in your locality. Safari groups collaborate with the church leadership and the pastors to offer immediate and continuous care in times of need. Sign up today at the information desk. The CED department invites you to register for water baptism on 14th April after the second service. There will be a class on the same day from 8.30 a.m. at the conference hall. Kindly register at the information desk. We will have a Bible reading marathon from Monday, April 22nd to Saturday the 27th. Kindly take note of these days and plan to attend. Notice is hereby given that the following have been chosen to represent the church in the ADC. 
One, Deacon nominee, Harry Fandrew. Two, Elder to serve at second term, John Kiplimo. Three, ADC delegates as posted on the church notice board. If anyone has any just cause why any of these individuals may not represent Sitamgo in the said capacity, kindly inform the senior pastor in writing. Please note, all delegates representing Sitamgong are encouraged to attend this crucial governance meeting, the annual delegates conference. Sitamgong Boys Mentorship Program invites boys aged 7 to 15 years for a captivating movie based on an impossible true story. It's a story of faith in God, hope in God, and God's miraculous healing. This is open for non-Sitam children. Date, Saturday 20th April 2024 at 10am at the youth hall, charges 100 shillings per head. Snacks will be provided to Kutane Movie Theatre, hashtag TNT. Are you born again? A member of Sitam Gong, talented in singing or playing an instrument? Sitam Gong music team is recruiting anyone who meets the above criteria. Kindly register for auditions at the designated desk outside after the service. All boys and girls in grade 8 are invited for Hoops 2024. Holiday session this coming week on Tuesday 16th, Thursday 18th, and Friday 19th April. Time 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Youth Hall. Sitam Gong Women Ministry invites all ladies aged 18 years and above to our April 2024 fellowship. The theme will be Leadership in Transition. This is derived from 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others speaking will be our very own senior pastor reverend jotham munene invite a friend to invite a friend and let's learn and grow together as we sit at the feet of jesus thank you again for joining us today we hope you are being blessed and impacted by this ministry. Follow our WhatsApp channel today and keep up with key notices, updates, and announcements. My name is Olivia Wangare. Have a blessed rest of the day and week ahead. The Sitam Southern Region presents the Youth Conference for all teens and youth. Mark your calendars for the 17th to the 19th of April 2024 at Sitam Karen with the hashtag Youth Takeover. Feel at home in God's presence with power-packed worship, anointed ministry, and top-notch sessions. Koso Chefwe. We have embarked on a generosity initiative that we do believe over the next two years will help us to settle 23 of our SITAM assemblies in permanent residences. And we also do believe that over the last two weeks, you and your family have been praying together on what the Lord would lay in your heart so that you become part and parcel of this journey that together in Sitam we are walking. Now, each and every one of us can participate, and we do urge every member of Sitam to participate, whether adult or youth or child, that no one be left behind as we move together in generosity. Some of us uh, indeed can give uh, much more than the 50,000 that we used as an example last time. Some of us uh, might only be able to manage a little less than that. But whatever it is uh, that each of us would make a commitment uh, that we are going to move together, not just 25,000 people, but every member of SITAM engaged in this initiative. Therefore, as we look ahead, today we are giving you a chance to make a commitment. Uh, and this commitment uh, will be led through an app that we do believe will help each and every one of us uh, both to track our giving and also to know how we are giving as individuals uh, so that we are not left behind. Thank you for being part of the Together in Generosity campaign. A special downloadable app has been created to facilitate the process of registering your pledge and tracking your giving entirely from your mobile device. The registration process is simple. Once you've downloaded the app, follow the screen prompts to enter your name, your phone number, and your email address. Press Next and find your SITAM assembly in the drop-down menu. Create and confirm, password, and register. Next, select a monetary or in-kind pledge. 
Enter an amount and choose the redemption details. Don't forget to choose reminder options by SMS or email. Confirm your pledge and reminder details. You'll receive a confirmation message by SMS on the phone number you provided. There are various ways to redeem your pledge in the app. Select an installment amount and a convenient date each month on which you wish to be reminded to redeem your pledge. When you're ready to redeem the pledge or part of it, press Redeem and select one of the payment options provided – M-Pesa, PayPal, bank transfer, etc. Type in the amount and press Redeem. Follow the prompts to finish the payment. You will receive notification that your payment has been received. Download the app today. It's available in the Apple Store for iOS users and in Google Play Store for Android users. Name of the app is Sitam Church. Do join us together as we move in this initiative together in generosity. God bless you. Amen. Let me interrupt the moderation just to throw some light on this TIG. Check with your neighbor if they know what is TIG. What did they say? Together in generosity. Do they know TNT? Just checking. So we will not do the pledging this Sunday. We're giving you another week for you to pray and decide um, what you trust the Lord for. We had said that if 25,000 people give 50,000 within a period of two years, would get all the churches in their places. But now Bishop is saying, wengine wakona pesa nyingi. Kama nani? Kama the kitutos. They... <laughs> We can't limit you to 50,000, surely. So for such people, you can go higher. But those who are also feeling like it's too much, you can still pledge something lower. There's no fight. So we want you to, to pray about it. Next Sunday, we will have the, we'll do this using the app. We'll also have manual pledge forms because of people like who? We won't mention anyone. Those who don't want to bother with this, be too complicated. However, we can download the app now. Do you have your nice phone? But your iPhone, Munaenda Apple Store. Wale watu wengine wame back your Android, Munaenda Play Store. Put on your bundles. If you don't have any bundles, just postpone this exercise until you are ready. For now, put on your bundles and download. I'm not leaving here before you download. This, the, the app is called Sitam Church. So go to Apple Store, wherever, and then uh, search Sitam Church. I did it this morning, so I know it works. And once you have it, relax. During the week, study. I hear you can even pay through PayPal. Hey! na Sitam bana. Ma PayPal, M-Pesa, Visa, all those things you are able to redeem your pledges. And if you go the up way, you have seen how you'll be being reminded. Amazing. And we are going to put, maybe I should give you an example of Mombasa because that's where I came from. That you know what we're trying to achieve. Now Mombasa, where we are located, we don't own. And the owner has not offered us, even though we have been pleading. Next the next plot belongs to a believer who really wants Sitam to buy. Okay? And he's a doctor married to a pastor. They are the ones who came to us. To Kasema, yes, we are interested. To Kandika, expression of interest. Lakini ikitu iko happy. So, once we begin, when we start having some cash flow, we can redeem that thing because we are now aware. I was told by the pastor just yesterday or the day before, there are other people who are interested in that property. You don't want that to happen. In Mombasa, in Meru, in any other place. So, very nice. 
Secondly, before these guys come back, I just want to make this announcement for the ADC. How many people came for the RAGM yesterday? How many attended online? Yeah, by the way, the attendance of Sitam Gong was about half. The whole attendance was everybody. Give a clap to yourselves. Yeah. Notice of the annual delegates conference. Notice is hereby given that the annual delegates conference, ADC for Christ is the Answer Ministries, will be held on Saturday, the 27th April 2024 from 8.30 a.m. at Sitam Valley Road, Dennis Whitehall. Now, this shall be a hybrid meeting with members attending uh, either in person or virtually through a Zoom link which shall be circulated to the delegates prior to the meeting. All delegates are encouraged uh, to attend in person. In person looks better, by now. Eh. The agenda will be as follows. Prayer and devotion, reading of the notice, convening the meeting. Number three, welcome and introduction of delegates for confirmation of minutes of the annual delegates conference held on the 29th of April, 2023. Five, matters arising from the 29th April, 2023 ADC minutes. Six, <clears throat> chairman's report and its adoptions. Seven, consideration of the audited accounts for the year ended 31st December 2023. Eight, appointment of auditors for the ensuing year. Nine, election of deacon board members. And you know we have a deacon board member here we need to vote for. Um, ten, <laughs> ratification of appointed elders. Eleven, any other business for which notice shall have been received by the church secretary at least seven days uh, prior to the ADC. All AOBs should be sent to admin at sitam.org. Admin at sitam.org. Please note, all elected delegates are invited and entitled to attend. Secondly, sitam audited accounts and yearly reports are available for Peruso in the ADC documents bundle that will be circulated through the provided link. Yours in his service, Martin Monyo signed, Secretary, Deacon Board, and Church Secretary, Christ is the Answer Ministries, copied to the presiding bishop. God bless. Thank you. Let's appreciate our senior pastor. Um, the media team would love to play a clip of uh, just to give us a snippet or in other words a synopsis of 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 what happened or in other words a summary of what happened uh, in Kericho for those of us who uh, went to uh, share the love of Christ media team we here with the group leader for the whole team that came to Kericho. Lisa, introduce, uh, introduce yourself first. Uh, thank you very much. Um, my name is Jojo Okwabong and uh, I was privileged to, uh, to be the coordinator of this team going to Matogo in Kericho um, to carry out the evangelistic mission. Uh, uh, of course, in conjunction with the Sitam Kericho, uh, Sitam Gong, uh, took a big role in spearheading the evangelism in that area. So please tell us about the whole experience in Kirinjo. We got a very warm welcome from Matobo people, uh, but then we also had quite a lot of work to walk around a uh, door-to-door -door, uh, caravan mission uh, as well as sports uh, mission. And we were able to reach 1,437 people the 241 of them gave them their lives to Christ and we are grateful to God for that open heaven. You know, many even were calling us uh, to come to their homes and just, you know, speak to them and pray for them. And for me, that was really encouraging just to have people, um, you know, inviting us and so eager to hear from us, uh, sharing the love of Christ to them. So how is mission? <laughs> Missions was good, it was my first time. Um, 
great experience. I learned a lot and uh, I'll definitely do it more and more. It was wonderful. Wonderful. And I saw the move of God. And I saw that our God is faithful. Yes. So how is great? It was fantastic class. Hey, that, that is a tough and one. And very climatic. It was quantum and glorious. Fantastic. Instrumental. Marvelous. Amazing. Wonderful. It was incredible. Thank God for the Sitam family, Gong, for sending this powerful team. We were truly blessed and, and souls came to Jesus. Sitam Gong, let's partner together. God bless you. Sitam, we are grateful. May the Lord bless you. And Mubarak, you sana. And you are most welcome again. Hallelujah, we'll come back again. Isn't that amazing? Um, in the same topic of missions, um, we had the Bridge Mission Camp from 1st to 5th April. Bridge is the ex cans program, and they were able to uh, reach 160 people, and 25 people got saved. Um, just to note that the ex cans this was their first time evangelizing, so it's, a, it's quite something. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Wakili. Um, again, we want to notify you that um, all the young people, please, after the service, um, don't be in a hurry to leave. Our youth pastor, Winnie, and the leaders, the youth leaders, would love to meet you just for a few minutes. So please, at the balcony, uh, that's where the venue uh, of the meeting will be, just about two or three minutes. Also to emphasize on the youth conference, uh, please, there's a registration is ongoing outside their desks, outside the church, so please make sure you register for the youth conference. And then we also have a sports evangelism day. It's at the Gong Stadium on 13th of April from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Activities will involve aerobics, races and relays, and um, tug of war, and also we are going to, cre to, uh, to clean the streets of Gong Town. So you all, all, all of you are invited. Um, again, registration is going on outside church. Please make sure you do register. Thank you again, Wakili. <laughs> um, the, the, we have, um, again, this is Youth Month, and we have a special uh, presentation uh, with a uh, few number of them. Call, um, sing along. Please, if you can come. Let's appreciate them as they come. Um, we, I have noticed that today we really focused on the cross. Eh. So this is an invitation. Um, we'll talk more. Ah! 
the Bible says it gives power, power over everything that may come our way. As Christians, we live in power. Over the mortal flesh, over snakes and scorpions, we have power. And that is our joy. Oh, 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 oh. appreciate them wow that's lovely those special voices let's give them another round of applause thank you thank you so much uh, and just to add some light uh, to shed some light sing along is a mashup a mixture of many things I didn't oh. even know that oh okay Akili. It's a mixture of songs. Okay. Yes. Now, now I know. Now I now know. You know. Now I know. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, last notice um, from the children ministry. Uh, the Hope grade, Hope's grade eight makeup classes. Um, uh, the dates is the dates are on 9th, 11th, and 12th. Please, uh, you are guided to um, bring your children, the eight uh, grade eight, uh, to those classes. 
and uh, the time is from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., and the tea and snacks will be served. And then again, the baptism is happening next Sunday. Uh, also, um, we have been having peer counseling sessions going on in the youth church. So today is the last session. Please help us to attend. Um, just before we invite the worship team to give us a special, they say a good dancer, not to leave, know when to leave the stage. <laughs> um, and thank you, senior pastor, for giving us this opportunity. Jay Oswald Sanders writes a book, Spiritual Leadership, and Ryan Sensei, um, uh, leaders who gives others opportunities to grow will do great things. Thank you. God bless you. We have been your moderators. Doreen Mwangi. Philip Saidimo. I have a copy of that book. I have a copy of the book. Amma, you are the one who has the copy of my book. <laughs> Let's appreciate our moderators. Uh, so, I didn't know we have such talent. Yeah, you that like that, in whatever that thing is called, creative. Wow, yeah, that is another level. You did you know we have such a thing here? Those are the things you'd put in YouTube. I love to a letter later. I see one at youth month. Yeah, you should be doing several, several. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate you, youth, youth team. Uh, from your moderation to the worship, it has been perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know some people are not dancing as was demonstrated. <laughs> they chose their own style. We forgive you. We now would like to receive a team from Sitam Thika Town. They have a gift for us, uh, led by uh, Elder, uh, Elder Agnes Omolo. Now, she was here yesterday also. Imagine, I think she has decided uh, why go home. Uh, please come. Elder, Elder Agnes <laughs> serves with the Elders Council. So our elder, we normally have an elders council person here known as Elder Lawrence Oseje. Today he decided to leave us alone. But the Lord has provided another council member. Please tell us what you have for us. Good afternoon, Sitam Gong. Where? Okay. I realize the dynamics are different. In Sitam Thika Town, the first service is this full. Yes, it's a swap. Yes. But I'm thankful. My business here is very short. Team from Sitam Thika Town, kindly come up. <laughs> and as they come up, we are asking uh, Pastor Esther from Sitam Thika Town to Sitam Gong Town to come up. <laughs> Encourage us till we get here. Kindly come close so that I'll be able to. <clears throat> I think this is bittersweet. Um, I'll start with the sweet. Um, just seeing the faithfulness of the Lord. I think I've been here from, okay, from first service. There are quite a number of people I've recognized and I've brought sweet memories of God's faithfulness. People that our paths have crossed, Valley Road, Mombasa, 
Woodley, when I was a youth, we used to go for, to Woodley for retreat. I've seen quite a number of people here. And men and women we have met in the business world. So I'm trying to get a bit relaxed. Um, today we bring you your new pastor, Pastor Esther Nduta. And Pastor Esther joins the Sitam Gong as a team player. She's coming to join the team. And uh, as she serves you, this is a lady with a teachable spirit. This is a lady who's passionate to the things of God. And uh, this is a lady who delivers. That's a guarantee that you can take to the bank. And uh, even as she, as she comes to you as your new pastor, uh, to the little boys and girls, she will be Auntie Esther. To the, young, to the young men and women, the youth and the teens, this will be your big sister. To the older men and the older women, as much as she comes to you as a pastor, she is also coming to tap into your wisdom, your experience, your love. As she chose to obey God when the Lord assigned her to sit and go, she chose to obey and trust the Lord. So even as a sit and thicker town, we want to believe that in this season, in this place, she will find a family in you. This is a lady, she's a prayer warrior, she's a worship leader, and she has a way of apportioning the word of God. She is seasoned. And uh, even as we thank God for what he is doing in her life, in her ministry, we've been with her for eight years. Uh, just when Sitam Thicker Town was born, she joined us straight from school. And we watched her answering to God's call. And I want to serve the Lord. The Lord has called me to serve him. <laughs> we watched her go to school, Bible school. We watched her graduate. And we watched her giving volunteer service in Sitam Thicker Town. And she loved us as her congregation. And I want to assure you, she will love you. What you see is what you'll get. That's a guarantee. And uh, for you, Pastor Esther, many of the times we talked, we prayed, and we prayed. The Lord has come through for you. This is, these are the people in this season that God is trusting you with. This is a congregation you'll be accountable to. My prayer is that as you serve God's people, the game changer will be your submission to authority that the, that the Lord will give in this place. Submit to the authority of your pastor, the elders, the leadership in this place, men and women. I choose to believe the blessings of God will follow you and overtake you. Embrace our girl. Yes. We are releasing her in obedience. Yes. Hunaveni. <laughs> but we are releasing her in obedience. I will conclude with Psalms 91 verse 14 and 16. This is our word to you from Satan Thicker Town to you. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me. Because you loved me, delighted in me, and have been loyal to my name, I will greatly protect you. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. 
and you will feel my presence in your time of trouble. I will deliver you and bring you honor. We wish you well. I, I'm still missing the camera people. Are they still around? Come on, you hug, sing a quick picture. Okay, Pastor Ray, with your camera, supplement what uh, may not be there. So we want to hear our new pastor, if, uh, to hear her voice, and to know whether she's unhappy to be here or if she's delighted. Praise the Lord, Sita Mgong. Buona sifiwe. You can wave at me if you can see me. Amen, amen. As you've heard, my name is Esther Wamboinduta. I am born again, and I'm really grateful to God for this opportunity to serve amongst you. I really pray that we will have a wonderful time of fellowship, cultivating friendship, all for the glory of God. Amen. Please help me appreciate these beautiful people from Seaton Thicker Town that escorted me. Among them are elders in our assembly. We have Elder Maundo. We have Elder Margaret. Thank you so much for coming. And also among them is my own mother who is here. Please wave to the congregation. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. So we'll leave the mother, the elders and Elder Agnes here. Uh, the rest of you, just because of space, to now penda sana, to naomba, you go and enjoy our seats um, here at Sitam Gong. We thank you so much for leading such a strong delegation. Are you sure there are people at Sitam Thika Town? Some of you have depleted the church. So I want to invite my wife to come and also receive our pastor, flanked by uh, some of the leaders here also, such as Pastor Ray, such as uh, Elder Rachel, and uh, our Elder Kimani, and then we have to put the WM leader also into this mix. Uh, and whoever else feels that they should be here, just come. Then my wife will say something, then we'll uh, receive her on your behalf, uh, then after that, Nikazi. <laughs> Wonderful. So, on behalf of uh, Sitam Gong, uh, we want to say, our pastor Esther, you're very welcome to this congregation. I can assure you that these are people who will love you and who are looking forward to experiencing your ministry. Mama, thank you for raising a lady who fears God and thank you for allowing her to pursue her calling. There's nothing as beautiful as that. Our elders in the church, I'm sure you have also input in her life. She probably wouldn't be here today if you had not done something in her life. So we just also want to assure you, we have our elders here as well. They will also receive and they will pick up from there. We are picking up from there. <laughs> so the Lord bless you. So very welcome. So we'll, 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 okay, sorry. Her over. Yeah. Had yeah. her over. Please hand her over. And then akuja to msalimie. And then this ceremony will be concluded. I let we, I hand you over to my wife and somebody else. Yes. Yeah. Greet all of us. And after you greet us, your delegation will also come and greet us. And this is to say on behalf of the congregation, uh, Sitam Gong receives you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Karibu sana.
Let's appreciate our leadership uh, for that. I don't know whether when I was brought here, people spoke such nice things. <laughs> I feel like doing it again. Amen. With a little time left and a few more minutes that I will steal, not too many, I want to share on the subject, let there be light. I did not choose the subject. It was assigned to me by the youth team. And so I am opening this subject so that next week and the weeks to come, uh, other preachers are going to come here and expound more. Those people will have more time, I believe, Pastor Winnie. Am I right? Yeah, because today was communion day and a few other nice things that we did. Father, we pray that you may speak to us through your word and there will be transformation by hearing your word in Jesus' name we pray. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, God said, let there be light. We observe that apart from putting together the heavens and the earth, which probably means the universe, the first thing that God created was light. And God saw that it was good. In verse 4, God divided light from darkness. That is why the world does not love us, according to the Apostle John, because we have been separated. Now, the account in Genesis is literal. It's talking about the creation of light. But then people like um, Paul and even Jesus, they take the theme of light to speak about spiritual realities and also our moral lives. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6, Paul says, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. I think it is in the 8th of 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians 4 verse 4 that says, I think it's 2 Corinthians, am I right? Uh, yes, yes it is, thank you. It, it says that the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers that they may not see the glory of God in Christ Jesus. In other words, they are in darkness and you need to be a bit more merciful with people that are not born again. Because some of the things they are doing and saying, they cannot see. They don't have the light that we have by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So the same God who said, let there be light, is the same one who shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of of Jesus Christ. Have you ever wondered how somebody can reject Christ? How would somebody reject a savior who came from the realms of glory to come and suffer like a poor person and eventually die a criminal's death on a cross? And he's not asking you for any payment. He's just saying, give me your soul. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to lead you and I'm going to give you eternal life. Why would anybody reject that? Because they don't have the light of the glory of God in Christ Jesus. That's why we go for missions to help them with what God has given to us. And through the miracle of the Holy Spirit, the light shines on these guys. Hallelujah. You see, people live in darkness and there commit sin. Have you ever seen a thief who wants to steal from you and he says, put on, switch on the lights? They want somehow to make sure there is as little light as possible. Sin many times happens in the darkness. People are mugged in darkness. Bribes are taken in darkness. Or at least the CCTV camera is turned the other side. Even the, our police officers, when they attempted to take a little bit of money, they somehow either put the hand somewhere like that or 
They do certain things and most of us can tell what is going on anyway. Be the light. There's a preacher friend of mine who decided to be light one day. Traveling in a matatu. I think I told this story already. Ushaiskia. Not yet. Maybe in my first coming. So people of Thika Town, that I'm now in my second coming here in Sitam Gong. So he saw the driver giving a bribe. I think about a hundred shillings or so. And uh, he was smartly dressed as a preacher, like the way Pastor Ray looks. He was going somewhere for a mission. And then he just said, what are you giving him? And not just the policeman, what, what are you receiving? And the policeman actually got surprised. Because who is this person? <laughs> and my friend PM said, give it to me. Which the policeman quickly did. <laughs> and he went off. So I asked him, what did you do with the money? <laughs> Say the other cup of tea. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether it was the light completely. <laughs> Let there be light. In English, there are four words. In Hebrew, we'll count another day. With those four words, Something was created that is phenomenal. It has taken humans many years, thousands to even understand light. To the extent that physicists are telling us that light is both a particle and a wave at the same time. The story of the particle comes from none other than Albert Einstein himself. And then the story of... Uh, this, the light being a wave, if one of the people is the English scientist Thomas Young. And he showed by experiment that light is a wave. Together with things like interference, the crest, and all that that happens in waves. It is light that gives us food in a sense because photosynthesis degree in photosynthesis. Bachelors in photosynthesis. I'm not sure there is such a thing. Anyway, maybe a PhD, you know, deep stuff. But anyway, photosynthesis is what gives us food because plants use light in order from the sun, of course, but in order to create food. Some of you say, me, I eat fish. I don't know why I'm in the spirit of stories in this service. Now, the other service is going stories. Maybe so that the thicker town people can hear a few of my stories. So, there was a gentleman in West Africa. I think it was around Liberia. I was told by his countryman who was baptized by the Catholic missionary. And his name became John. Okay? His name could have been Musioka before. Then, now it became John. And then they said, you know, don't eat meat on Friday, which he agreed. But one day the missionary found this guy killing a deer on a Friday. And he said, my friend, why are you planning to eat meat? We agreed on Friday we don't eat meat. He said, this is not meat. The missionary says, what is this? He says, this is fish. And the, the missionary was confused. And, and then, John, how can this be? fish. He said, when you came here two weeks ago, you sprinkled a little water on me and I became John. Those who are not laughing yet don't know where the story is going. He said, the same way I poured water on this deer <clears throat> and I named it fish. I don't know why brother John Fisher is happy about this story. So even if you say I eat fish, whatever, even that fish, if there were no photosynthesis, you would not go far. At a chicken in Akulanga survives because of the plants. So light is amazing. Light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. An airplane travels at 1,000 kilometers per hour. 
Homo sapiens. Those who are Gen Z travel at what speed? <laughs> Light is an amazing phenomenon. In fact, I found somewhere written, this speed of light is the fastest phenomenon known in the universe. Now, if you are the light of the world, how come you are moving so slowly? And by the time you reach church, two hours are over. When you any light here in Nagan? Light just gets into any space. Light does not ask for any permission. Okay? Light just does what it's supposed to do. Another story. When I was a student abroad, praise God, one day I was going for prayer and I found this guy who was pagawad by my pepo. Interpret to your neighbor who doesn't know what that means. People from Uganda, just explain to them. The person was pagawad by my pepo. And I just started saying like, cast you out in Jesus' name. When I started doing that, the other students who are Zungus were saying, no, you know, we need to ask the chaplain. You know, this is something. We need to... Light does not ask for permission. Neither does light compare itself with other people. It, other, it just comes. The light of the moon does not say, how is the light of Venus? It just comes wherever it finds. Those of you at, in, at college, you know, students, you don't have to do what everybody is doing. From Fano, to copy exams. Light does the right thing. I gave an example in the other service. I was involved in an exam, international exam. And my teacher was assisting, was attempting to assist me. He pointed to the right answer. And I'd already written the other answer. Because there were two options. And I thought, will I follow? I decided, I'm going to stay with my answer that I have. They had really warned us not to copy. Now he's the one assisting me. I passed the exam. I came to learn that most people, very many people failed. And I was one of the best. With my, whatever I had. Be the light! By the way, I don't know whether Professor Waidima was there that was on the deacon board at some point. When we were writing the first strategic plan, we were at Manzoni. And then there's this guy, this consultant who came and said, we're going to give you an exam. And uh, we, you only have, I don't know, like, like two minutes to finish the exam. It was a math exam, like one plus one equals five times three. You know that exam, eh? Yeah. So five minus two. And as soon as we saw it, like me, I finished within a minute. Then now they decided to exchange your paper. You know how they give you a paper too? They say, first of all, did you look at the instructions? The instruction that say where it is multiply, I think you divide. And when it is plus. <laughs> so, so now, many, many of us got zero out of ten. Or one out of ten. I remember one person, Elder Migui, I say my neighbor, I am a partner, two, ten out of two. Just to help himself. It's better you get your two out of ten, but be the light. Amen. I'm nearly finished, by the way. Daniel and his friends, you know, they just decided to shine. Uh, they decided to shine, to be God's people, to do the right thing, to be holy. They refused to eat the food. People wonder why didn't they eat the food? We don't know, but whatever it is was connected to their God. Amen. Now, let me tell you some things I've discovered in the past about a week. Which, Kenya has how many Christian percentage-wise? Eighty. Uh, eight is on the lower side. Eh? Sometimes it goes up to my 85. Have you been following the story of Israel and Hamas? Who are the negotiators? It's Qatar. It is Egypt. Qatar is a Muslim nation. So where are the 85%? 
why aren't the Kenyan diplomats offering to be in that reconciliation? Didn't Jesus say that you are the salt of the earth? You are peacemakers? But what surprised more is the Nigerian girls. You remember the girls who were abducted? Do you know who negotiated for them? It was a diplomat from Switzerland. Switzerland is very far. I had a story. He came over and started. Apparently when you do that, you look for people. You go as far as you can from the circle of the enemy. So you start with people who once were in that team as far as you can, and slowly you come in, negotiated, and got the girls released. And yet we are the light of the world, a whole 85%. Now, Saidimu here, who was wishing he can find a title like Wakili? is <laughs> from the Ma community. And other communities, we have issues of early marriages, don't we? You're going to find a Mzungu who has come from Finland or Netherlands or Canada opening a center to rescue those children. Are you telling me there is no Bible study in Sitam Gong that can one day get upset and wonder what is the use of this gospel we preach if it cannot be felt, if I cannot be light? And they say we are going to contribute and begin a safe house for these girls. We don't have to wait for people to come from Australia. We are the light of the world. And God said, let there be light. Let there be light at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Let there be light at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I don't just mean literal light, but also things to go well. Let there be light at Kenyatta Hospital. Let there be light concerning the doctor's situation. Are you doing anything about the strike? At least pray. It's one way. Then there are some other people who have influence, who can talk to either the government or the medics. Somebody must get involved. And by the way, I heard the strike is about to hit the private hospitals. So for those of us who are like, Atam Kigoma, Agahan, University, Atawkoptakwana strike. Where is the light? Let there be light at the DCI. Let there be light at City Hall. And for heaven's sake, let there be light at Kenya Power. Yeah. And Kenjen, whoever is stealing generators or whatever, especially if he has a Christian name, so-called was one of my mentors, Bishop Masika, who says Alienda Jela, and he found the bigger percentage of the inmates have a Christian name, Philip. Uh, sorry, so I, I didn't, sorry. <laughs> Thomas. No, it's another name. Thomas, you are a devil. They know you have never given anybody a lift since you bought that car. They know you have never contributed in any WhatsApp group. You always have reasons why you should not give. He pays a itakulua. Now I'm actually ending, believe it or not. Johnny, hapa yu watu wangu, tumalize pamoja. And I end with an old song we used to sing. Actually, when I was in college, it used to be a hit. I think it still exists. I found the oldest songs are the one loved by Sunday school. Have you ever found out? This one went like this. <coughs> shine, Jesus shine. Help me. Feel this land with Bless, spirit, bless, set our heart. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy for your Lord and let them It occurred to me that Jesus might be also singing the song to you and I. Shine, Jotham, shine.
Amen. The media team are also shining. <laughs> I think Jesus may be saying, shine some, shine. Shine, Hassan. Shine. Fill this land, this new territory you are talking about. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Quit telling Jesus to shine. We are the ones to shine. Bless by the power of the Spirit in the place God has placed you. I end with a story. Did I say I was ending another time? <laughs> this is it now. Tutsi. Hutu. Very many stories come out of the genocide, but one of the best ones I've heard is where the militias came to a church. And you know, many churches gave away the other brethren. But in this church, they say, give out the Tutsis. Tutsis were the ones in trouble, mostly. And this guy said, we don't have Tutsis here. They said, if you don't give out the Tutsis, we are going to burn this church. They said, we don't have Tutsis or Hutus in this church, only children of God. And the church was touched. But they decided it is better to burn together than to begin to say, you are a kissy. You are a titan. And yet we are here singing to Jesus together. Even when that kind of time comes, we must light and be the light of the glory of Jesus, the Son of God. We are calling you this whole month to be the light in the new and old territories. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. And thank you for the command for us to be the light. There are many things that sometimes cause us not to be the light. Many times it's because we want to please others. Other times it's our own sinfulness. Other times it's being shy. Other times it's just thinking somebody else will do it. I pray that you may help us, Lord, to take our place wherever we are. That we will not be found asleep. And we will not be ashamed for people to know we know you as our Lord and Savior. May we treat people nicely. May we help those who need help. May we not just talk about Jesus, but may we be the light. May we be loving. May we be caring. May we be forgiving. May we be uniting people. May we be your light in the darkness. We are going to close. But again, if you are not born again and you want to give your life to Christ, you can lift up your hand. We'll still pray for you. If there is anybody like that still who wants to commit their lives to the Lord, lift up your hand. We'll pray for you as well so that you can be that light of Jesus. Anyone? All right. There's no person. Is there anyone? All right. We had some people who gave their lives to the Lord during the service. We're going to request you as we close to come over and meet with us here. Uh, and the Lord is going to bless you. Let me invite Pastor Ray to come and close the service, recognize the visitors, and give us the benediction. God bless you. Amen. We can do better than that. Come on, come on, let's appreciate the King of Kings because the light is not going to come from our... Come on, let's proceed. The light is not going to come from our own power, but from the power of God. Come on, let's give him all the glory. He's going to help us. Amen. Wow. Are you challenged? If you are like me and challenged, just lift up your hand. Amen. You are here for the first time. This is your first time to be here. Please stand so that we can give you the opportunity to exit. Those who stood, first time visitors, there is a nice cup of tea prepared for you. Let's appreciate them as they come. Please come, don't share away. Pick your belongings and come. If you brought them, come and greet our senior pastor. 
There are people I'm looking for. Please come also. Before I call your names, come quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. If you are upstairs, please come also. We are waiting for you. First time visitors, come, come, please. Just for a cup of tea, nothing more. And letting you know more about us. Upstairs, I thought I saw some people. Please come. Come. Baba Naomba. Come down, please. Okay. Let's be upstanding. you very much. Uh, those who got born again, I think there was someone upstairs. Kindly immediately just come here. You will find us here. The grade 8 versus or Hope's parents, please take note, the makeup classes for those boys and girls is this Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Lord forever and ever Amen. The Lord bless you. Have a nice week. Amen. Amen.